G'day, Kings Canyon! <laughs> faster, faster! <laughs> Five you all when I see you. Come on, brother. Step up. Ed Jesse will be waiting for you down there. After this, we should hang out. So in case you missed it, that was the actual gameplay trailer for the Nintendo Switch launch of Apex Legends. But what up, it's your boy NWP, and we are back at it once again today with a second video, and we will be discussing and taking a look at what appears to be potential emotes or, you know, some type of dance flavor that could be added to Apex Legends, and uh, maybe it was teased in this trailer, in fact. But... That still remains to be seen because there's only these short moments of fleeting weird stuff going on where the legends are kind of partying and while it could actually just be stuff that is done to give a little bit of flavor to the actual trailer, it could be coming as an in-game element as we have seen before. They definitely do allow weird things to happen. And then when we see the multitude of legends actually kind of dancing here and some shadow boxing from Bangalore there, it does appear that we could be seeing something like this added to the game. But there is reasons that we may not be seeing it in the way that people would hope or expect. Now, a lot of people obviously would hope this is something we could do in game and it would go third person allowing you to see your character and the skin that you have obviously there's a lot of people that argue you don't even get to see your character so why would you buy a skin but then i also argue i don't buy the skin for me to look at i buy it so i look really awesome when i kill you in the game so that you know defeated either way you look at it but there is a mega problem, and when we look at Trials of Osiris in particular and the ranked versions of Destiny, there is basically a lot of rampant use where people will hold corners and use the third-person view to get an advantage. Now, there is obviously ways to prevent this. They could make it so that it's not allowed to happen, you know, in a third-person view and you're still just doing your dance. It make it a little bit harder to tell if you're doing your dance, obviously, but... It would still nonetheless allow you to do the ability and that type of thing kind of similar to when we inspect our weapons and, and look at the gun etc but it may also be coming to the champions screen where the three legends that win or two legends that win are bopping around and uh, you know just kind of really gloating that they won the only problem with that is the only people that are going to see that champion screen are going to be the winners themselves and maybe the actual second place team assuming they haven't backed out of the lobby as fast as possible to get into their next game so unless it's used at the beginning to show the, the you know the actual champion squad of the previous game there's not many people that would see it, and uh, the champion squad would... That would be a very substantial change to actually see the characters roaming around in a screen rather than actually seeing, uh, you know, like the banner poses that we get now because um, one of the major things that people don't really know that happens is before we actually get into the lobby in the dropship, we're actually spawned into the world uh, after selecting our characters and looking at your squad and the champion squad. So there's a multitude of reasons that this would be a very difficult addition to be added, but it could be something added to the game. However, I'm not 100% sure. I just thought it was an interesting topic to bring up to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is it something that's just there for a little bit of flavor to the trailer, or is it going to be added to the game in the future? 
What's your opinion? Drop a comment down below. And if you got time after the video, head over to one of these three social media links. Give them a like, a favorite, a follow, whatever the lingo on that particular platform might be. It will be greatly appreciated. And it goes a substantially long way to helping the channel grow and become even more epic over time. But again, not much more to really say about this particular thing, but a lot to be thought about from my point of view. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And uh, yeah, we'll get into this in more detail at a later time. But as usual, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video by throwing another one up on the screen. You can check out if you feel so inclined. But thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And remember, throughout the end of this pandemic, to stay safe, stay healthy, and as usual, have a good one.